day. And meteorologist Colleen Campbell is here in the Weather Center with us. And um, this just seems like it's the storm <laughs> that just will not go away. Yeah, and it's so early in the season. It's only our second name storm. And that's really the alarming part that we keep um, honing in on that it's, it's so early in the season. The season just began June 1st. It's our second name storm and man, it has been a doozy. So let's take a look at the latest uh, satellite imagery here. You see it's still a tropical storm that would probably catch many of you by surprise, but it's a high end tropical storm with winds at 70 miles per hour. A category one would start with winds at 74 miles per hour and hurricane hunters have been examining the storm and uh, waiting to officially say that it is a hurricane. It has strengthened. It has uh, intensified. The pressure has dropped. You can see that eye starting to develop once again, and it is just so close to making landfall. So it likely will make landfall as a category one. I know there were questions earlier whether it could make uh, landfall as a category two. It would have to have winds beyond 94 miles per hour to do that. And it's not even at category one status right now. But here's the latest track. So you can see the areas shaded in the red here from Corpus Christi north of that up into uh, Galveston, just south of Houston. Let's get this track by Monday. Monday, it moves inland uh, around 7 a.m. or so, and it's right on top of Houston at that time, the eye wall in the latest graph model. Then it does continue moving up to the northeast. I did want to bring you into the watches and warnings here. Notice it has been extended slightly. Um, those areas highlighted in the hot pink color, that would be that hurricane warning. They are expecting some sur storm surge out that way, flooding, heavy rain, winds, and that tropical storm warning also extending into East Texas. Very rare to see that uh, tropical storm warning that far to the northeast.